Hello and welcome back to me taking on AI, the Somnium Files. So, last time, you remember, we cleared the Annihilation Route. The High, known as Ashes. brings us to here. Society. So in this in this um well there's not much that's going to be happening except for what really 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 went down. And that will ultimately lead us to what really went down with Saito. So I'm going to set it up to where we deal with the last um, Somnium. So two seconds. Okay, so let's get this started with us beginning day six in the resolution arc. Soul side. Day six Wednesday. Soul side. Off balance. Or offset. At the abandoned factory, Wednesday, 12.55 a.m. You're awake. Damn it. I don't think you can release yourself. We'll do something about it. What is it you expect me to do? Come out of my eye socket and get this off of me! I cannot. Why not? My body has short-circuited. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. Gah. But fortunately, my communication functions are still operational. I attempted to reach HQ and Abyss personnel for support. And? No response. They ignored you? There must be pressure from the higher-ups. Likely a result of Congressman Sejima's interference. He thinks I'm investigating Monica's case. That is not the only reason. So Sejima holds a personal grudge against you. He wants you dead. That is likely why Pewter is attempting to delete my data. Are you okay? For now. But if they breach my final layer of ice, they will destroy me. I would cease to exist. figured it out. Renju's body on the ground. Without his left eye. You were inside Renju, weren't you? Until just now? You used the machine to exchange minds, then got rid of his body. Close, but you're a little off. I didn't get rid of the body. He died of natural causes. But what interests me more is you. How do you know you can use the sync machine to exchange minds? The way you're talking makes me think you know why I took out his left eye. How do I know that? Why do I know that? Why do I know about Saito, the prototype machine, changing personalities? 
the current. Did it unlock your memories? Then tell me, this body was originally... Mine. That means your body... This is your body. Isn't it, Saito? The words came out easily. I don't know why. But in a moment of harsh realization, I knew. 89's body's mine, and my body's Saito's. Well, if you know that much, then this should be easy. Give me back my body. Where are they? Don't worry, I haven't killed them. Yet. Yet? The brain you are currently occupying has an interesting quirk. It releases a flood of dopamine and endorphins when it kills. I thought I'd take that brain back before killing those two. In front of you, of course. Which is why I haven't killed them yet. Such beautiful eyes. I was going to begin the sink, but I think I've changed my mind. I want to see you mad. But what will really set you off? If you don't shut your mouth right now, all right, talking it is. What should I say? Do you have any questions for me? It's early Wednesday morning. Shoko was killed last Friday. That was day one, which makes today day six. For five days, what was Saito up to? I decided to ask him what he did every day until now. I was still in Renju's body. My next target was Iris. If I asked her to come to the abandoned factory, I knew she would be skeptical, so I called her to Sunfish Pocket. I even video called her. But for some reason, she said no. This was around 5 p.m. I was still Renju, the president of Lemniscate. I didn't think I would have any trouble getting her to trust me, but... Dalton, do you remember? Saturday evening after sinking with Mizuki. Inside the Somnium, you thought you saw Iris's body, so you called her. The time was 4.52 p.m., right before Renju called Iris. You told her. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Iris didn't accept Saito's proposition because of your warning. If you did not warn her... She would have been taken here. I decided to pick her up in Renju's car. I thought that if she saw me in person, she would trust me. However... You got in an accident around 6.10 p.m. and lost consciousness. <sighs> so unlucky. My plans were ruined, but my ultimate goal is still achievable, so it's all good. Day three. After the accident, my body was taken to Central Hospital. I regained consciousness just past 12 a.m. Sunday. The surgery was a success, but Renju's organs were in a horrible state. But I had somewhere to be. I left the hospital, went to the car, and headed to Iris's house. I know what happened after that. You got to the Sagan household at 2 a.m. You pushed the intercom button. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. You got Iris to come with you. 
But when you tried to bring her here... I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Oh, you know that too? But you're exactly right. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but I didn't have my drugs on me. The sleeping pills were inside Renju's crushed car. I was pushing my luck. My plan and my body were both in shambles. I'm sure the painkillers were affecting me as well. My mind was scrambled, and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't chase after her. I needed to sleep. I managed to make it back here and collapsed on the ground. Next thing I knew was the next day. I woke up around noon on Monday. Renju's body was about to expire. On Monday. By Monday, Renju's body was almost completely dead. And of course, my consciousness as well. That's when I got a call from a Mr. Amanoma. The man you call Pewter. I need a story after that. The boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, is there any way we can let number 89 escape? So Peter came up with a plan to help 89 escape. Rohan, as 89, got into the car with Saito as Ren with, Re with Saito as Renju and fled from the police. And what did you do on day one? Saito explain what he did on Friday. At 4 a.m., Saito began his plan against Shoko. After taking Renju's body, Saito killed Shoko, then brought the body to Bloom Park. But as he explained it to me, I somehow felt that I already knew. I didn't understand why. Being Sakugarn. I felt like it was being etched into yeah, I felt like it was being etched into my brain. Why was Shoko's rental phone in the horse? Oh, right. I put that there. When I was fixing Shoko's body on the horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. I forgot that I had given her one. I didn't want to take it with me, and I didn't want to toss it away. So, I decided to push it into the mouth of the horse. horse's mouth was hollow, which allowed the phone to fall down into its body. Why'd you want 89 to escape? When I heard that number 89 was coming to Abyss HQ, I came up with a plan. Iris trusts this number 89, this body. I thought I could use it to get to her. And there was another reason. I planned on eventually switching bodies with you. You and I would get our original bodies back. And after I do that, I will kill Iris and Hitomi. In front of you, while you're in this body. A rather nice plan if I do say so myself. That's why I asked Pewter to help number 89 escape. I wanted this body at all costs. 
what happened after you escaped with 89 in the car? I brought Rohan, who was inside number 89's body, to the abandoned factory. Rohan was my partner in the Cyclops serial killings six years ago. So naturally, we had a lot to talk about. But I didn't have much time left. Not to sound like a broken record, but Renju's body was almost done. It was completely useless at this point. So, I put Rohan to sleep and began the sink. As a result, this happened. Renju. It's just like I told you. He died of natural causes. At the shooting on Monday. I mean, about the shooting on Monday. Just mercenaries I hired. After I woke up Monday, I arranged the hit. They were expensive, but I had access to Renju's bank account. I paid them with his money. Mm. Of course, my intention was only to kidnap Iris. But after I got this body, I didn't really need them anymore. But they had already been paid good money, so I decided to leave the arrangements as they were. And then, Pewter. I told him about Iris and hiring the assassins. I told him he could use them for whatever he needed. And he acted on his own without consulting me. Day five, Tuesday. I called Iris about 24 hours ago. Tuesday at 1.40 a.m., I started a video chat with Iris. Long time no see. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but I need to see you. Iris got so excited that she dropped her guard. I told her where to meet, and she agreed right away. It was all according to plan. I knew that if I looked like him, she would do anything. I've been looking for him for six years. Uncle. I see. That is why Iris left Matsushita Diner. So the person she trusts most. You, Date. Oh. Number 89's current body was originally yours. Oh, right, right. After Iris got into the car, I put her to sleep. I restrained her and called to Tommy. I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. I used Iris to reel in Hitomi. And you. Thanks for being so cooperative. But you did drag your feet. I was getting tired of waiting. Let me just say that the voice I can hear with Falco, the original Date, and and I'll just say that Falco, the original Date, he sounds like he's so high right now, like so high you wouldn't believe it, man. It's like he had a joint before he started up doing this scene, man, and he was so high, he sounded like he was about ready to smoke up another one, yeah, baby, it almost sounds like he almost, it sounds radio-like, you know, it's like smooth jazz, 94.7, the way, <laughs> that's, the, I can't, that's the first thing that popped in my head, the entire time I was, well, the entire time while I'm watching them act it all out, it's like, okay, th this was going on in my head. I'm here, 94 7, 94 7, the wave. <laughs> That's the part that popped in my head, and I couldn't help but laugh. 
I, I know, it's a serious situation, but... God damn it, it's too funny. It's like... I couldn't keep a straight face after just listening to his voice like that. I know, it's supposed to be serious. Moving on. We still got a sync to do. The last one in the game. And then after that, the ending. About Monica's murder 18 years ago. I was only 12, but I remember it vividly. On that day, 18 years ago, I heard my dad on the phone. I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I got into a taxi and followed my dad's car. He went to the Harbor Warehouse District. Why'd you kill her? I've only ever been happy when I was killing something. Before Monica, I would kill cats and pigeons. It was the only way I could feel happiness. The only way I could feel anything. But like a drug, I eventually grew a tolerance to it. Next, I'll kill a human. That's when I found out about Monica. That woman took my dad from me. And she stole all the happiness from my house. So I chose her as a target. I was born with a brain disorder. I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland. And I didn't have a mother. Not a real one, I mean. My mom died giving birth to me. So, naturally, my emotions toward my dad were complicated. Oh, shit. Sometimes, I think, if I didn't kill Monica, would things be different? Maybe the murder six years ago never would have happened. Me, you, Rohan. Maybe none of us would have gotten mixed up in this. And maybe Shokun Adami never would have gotten killed. Isn't destiny a curious thing? One mistake can change so many lives. Sorry, I don't have anything else to say to you. And even I'm growing tired of seeing that twisted, angry face of yours. So, shall we get started? Give me my body back. Here we go, the final summary. The 
This is the sink room. Sinking in the chain. Search Kaname Date. Date Kaname. Avis Special Agent. Verify identity. What? Number one. Thanks, Dante. Now let's put Falcon on two. Which is, uh. Says. Sink. All right. Sink. So it doesn't matter. to get the knife on ladder. And now we're seeing how it actually happens. On the outside. But we want to go to the, the door. Go to the secret room.
Doesn't matter what. Doesn't matter what up. <laughs> Again. Inception. them. It's just a mirror. Damn it. 
You have to basically do everything to the mirror. That's what that's what you have to do. It just the walkthrough doesn't tell you that. And when I'm using it doesn't tell me that. So I'm like, oh. Use every single option. That's it. Just a little more. Okay. <laughs> Oddly enough, that's it. That was... And we cleared it. Day six, Wednesday, Hakai. <laughs> I did it! I did it! Oh, this feeling! I'm back! I got it all back! This fake eye is awful. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. I think I'll keep it. So, this is actually Date. This prototype machine has a special function. I forgot about to switch, so give me two seconds. So, I think what I'm going to do here is I read what this is, and um, I'm actually going to stop here. 
And in the next part, we start up Hakai, meaning destruction. So stay tuned. We're about to end this right after this.